Hello everybody, and um, I know you guys are normally used to seeing me in a really great bubbly mood most of the time, but uh, in this video, I'm actually going to give you guys a slice of bad news, really bad news for me. Um, it has to just do with my own personal life behind the scenes, um, outside of you know me making YouTube videos and stuff like that, and um, it, it caused me to reflect a lot on um, where I'm at currently in my life. Um, so a lot of you guys know I am in the military and stuff and um, I'm in a career field where I feel like I I mean from the beginning I could tell I would not fit in a hundred percent I wouldn't fit in at all um, the people in my career field are, are, are tech savvy people which you guys can clearly tell by my setup I am not <laughs> and um, over the years I've made a lot of very clumsy careless mistakes uh, it's it's something that it's always been a part of my person persona, you know. Um, I make mistakes quite a bit, um, not, not intentional, just just human mistakes. Um, well, that all caught up to me uh, about a day or so ago. I got notified that I'm pretty much going to be in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. That's going to impact me uh, for like the next two years and stuff like that. And um, it 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 tore me apart. It really did because. Um, I, I know I can do better. I have been trying to actively do better. Um, but it feels like I'm swimming in a, uh, in a, in a river, um, in the darkness, like co completely, um, in the dark, you know, don't know what direction I can go in to improve myself. And it's really been eating away at me. Um, the only thing I think I have been doing really good at has been social media. I've been on social media, uh, YouTube and Twitch and, um, you know, all these other platforms and stuff like that. And I feel like I've been doing really good there. But at my actual job, I feel like I'm pretty bad. I mean, it's it's not a secret at all that I'm terrible at what I do. Um, and, you know, I, I, I felt like this video was very important for me to make for you guys. Um, so you guys see that I'm not always like sunshine and rainbows. I'm not. Um, I do have my bad days. I, um, I, I I feel pain. I get sad. I cry sometimes. Not as not as much as I used to when I would feel um, like that. I mean, I felt like crying, but I felt like it would it would be kind of pointless because I'm like, there's nothing. I mean, crying is not going to do anything, you know. You know, it's just um, for me. I I'm a firm believer that, you know, you should do what makes you happy. And there are going to be things that you have to do that don't necessarily make you happy, but they will add to you being a better person. And I do feel like although the news that I did receive was horrible, um, I am, you know, I'm, I'm, I feel like this is a chapter in my life where um, I'm learning a lot more about myself and I will get better in the future. Um, it's it's spread to a lot of other areas too, um, my my clumsiness and stuff like that. And at first, you know, uh, and a lot of people they try their hardest to to vouch for me and stuff, which sucks, you know, because um, you know I'm kind of dragging other people down too. Uh, I guess I'll paint it in a clearer light for you guys, so you understand. Uh, and I'll do it in the form of an example, so I don't give away too much and I don't get in trouble for the, this video, <laughs> in case my uh, my, my people that are I work with watch this and they're like, oh, what the heck? So imagine you have someone that you work with that you're really cool with and stuff like that, like wouldn't hurt a fly and like, you know, puts a smile on your face even though the job you don't like, I mean, the, the job you do, you don't like. But, you know, you have a few people that come in that kind of brighten up your day and it makes it easier to work in your environment. Um, but then one day, that same person gets in trouble and you're like, whoa, I'll step in and try to defend them, you know, but there's only so much you can do because um, some of the stuff that they've messed up has been so big, even though you know it wasn't their fault, they're inevitably going to get in a lot of trouble. And that's kind of the situation I'm in because um, I've been told a lot that I have a very like, you know, charismatic personality and stuff like that. And um, I add a lot of, you know, good karma to the shop and stuff like that, good, good karma to the work center. Um, but it doesn't protect me from getting in trouble at all. Obviously, it shouldn't. Um, it just sucks because a lot, I feel like I can learn from, uh, you know, making mistakes and stuff like that. But, you know, certain things I feel like are 
just bad strokes of luck. It's almost like walking down the street with a cup of coffee and stumbling and spilling your coffee all over the place. It's not something you planned for. It's something that just happened. And of course, the next time um, that you're walking down the street with a cup of coffee, you'll be more mindful and that won't happen because now you've identified that as a problem. My issue and where I felt horrible about myself is that it's never the same thing. I always get in trouble for the weirdest things, man. I get in trouble for very random issues. Like it could be me forgetting to fill something out to me forgetting to, um, you know, uh, screw in something or um, go to a location or whatever. It's, it's always a, a step that you wouldn't think to check <laughs> that winds up being significant enough for it to be a problem, you know? And I don't know, I, I sat down yesterday and really reflected on myself and I'm like, man, what can I do to make this better? You know, I need to f figure out a way to make um, these mistakes that I keep making better. And on top of that, too, I need to talk about this because bottling this up has only made things worse. I'm like, you know what? It's not a big deal. I'll just deal with it when I need to deal with it. And now I'm dealing with it in the worst kind of way um, and whatnot. Uh, this doesn't mean I'm going to be slowing down on YouTube at all. In fact, I'm going to be doubling down on this because it's what I'm good at. I feel like for me, YouTube has become a place where I can vent, I can make a bunch of content, I can escape, and um, I have a really good time. I have a very good time uh, doing stuff like this and stuff. It's like literally the only thing I have that makes me feel, um, you know, good about myself. It's something that I know I'm good at that I know everybody else that I work with is not as good at. <laughs> I can help them if they would like to do something like this, but I, I know that this is the only area where I feel like I have a purpose. And um, yeah, I don't know. The purpose of this video is just to sh let you guys know, even though I am having a bad time um, right now, a horrible time, um, I will, uh, I, I know that there are better days to come in the future. I know that there's better days to come in the future. And I know a lot of people feel like they see like a darkness that will never end. And, you know, it, it causes them to do very unfortunate, regrettable things. I'm not in that place. Um, I am, you know, disappointed in myself. Um, I'm very sad uh, just because I know I can do better. And I can, you know, um, I, I will be doing better, obviously. I'm going to be um, improving over the next few years and trying to switch the narrative. But um, I also know that... Um, I've created an image of myself that can't be reversed. It can't. Um, I can change uh, my image for new people because new people haven't met me yet, but I can't change my image in the eyes of people who already know me. Um, I'm very clumsy, like I said, uh, very ditzy. I'm very bubbly. I'm very like happy. So people know me as the guy that laughs a lot and, and um, spreads good energy, but also as the person who is very clumsy um, that pretty much is a liability uh, to the for the for the most part. So it's it's funny too. You hear these stories of uh, certain YouTubers or celebrities or uh, people who made it, quote unquote, right? And they've always had a a caveat to their success. Like maybe growing up, they were severely bullied or they were really bad at something, and it really tore them apart and caused them to. Uh, double down on what they were good at and that's exactly what I'm doing I um, I know that at least in that area I'm, I'm not doing the best but in other areas I am I'm, I feel like I've made a lot of progress and that's what kept a smirk on my face because um, I mean I let, at least I have I have this you know um, I talked to you guys about this more in a live stream yesterday on my Instagram um, for the few people that watched and stuff, and I do appreciate you guys' comments and everything. Um, and I know things, like I said, things will get better, but I, I don't know. I um, that 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 kind of news for me was messed up. Um, the long story short, I'm gonna be. Uh, uh, it's kind of like a probationary period where uh, my work center kind of observes how I'm performing. Uh, over the next few years and if I make any more mistakes that's it that is it 
Um, I know it's the, the thing is like, oh, well, easy enough. Don't make any mistakes. <laughs> but that's the thing. Nobody plans to make mistakes. That's a part of life. And um, that's what's scary. So we kind of just have to see what happens. Um, I obviously have put some preventative measures in place where I don't get in um, as much trouble as I normally do get myself into. Um, but I can't guarantee that uh, you know, accidents won't happen. Uh, it's just, it's a part of life. Things happen. And it's, for me, it's always something new. <laughs> it's never the same thing. Um, it's always something new. I'm like, oh man, I accidentally spilled a cup of coffee on, uh, this person. I, I, I'm so sorry. I was, I stumbled and this happened and a lot of oopsies is not good enough, you know? So just here to say, like, if anybody has gone through a similar situation, just know that it does get better, no matter how how bad uh, you think you are, no, no matter how um, insignificant you think you are, um, no matter how useless you think you are, you're very useful, you are very good at something at least, and um, life does get better. Um, I've been going through a lot behind the scenes. This is just a fraction of uh, some other th stuff that's also been going on as well. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm handling it. Just wanted to let you guys know that uh, I wasn't okay yesterday. I'm a lot better today. And um, I uh, got some help <laughs> and stuff because obviously I needed to talk to somebody about uh, something like this because I was not in a, in a very positive headspace after um, the information unfolded. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just letting you guys know what happened. And um, guess I'll uh, be in a better better headspace once I get back in the routine of doing what I normally do every day. Um, I, I think I also told you that's pretty much why I've been so obsessed with learning German and all this other stuff because at least it's something I can um, you know be comfortable making mistakes and improving them over time because you know it's like, yeah, it's like a, it's a marathon not a sprint um, and I'm like you know what like I can give myself at least a sliver of hope doing that. Uh, this is a ranting video and I know I've been talking for quite a bit, so I'll let you guys do what you're doing and stuff like that. I'm not even sure if anybody's watching at this point, but if you are, um, I, uh, I do appreciate you watching this video and uh, my words to you guys is there will always be low points in all of our lives at some point, but there will be an equally high point in the future as well. Uh, just learn from whatever your low points are and keep moving forward. Don't give up. And that's pretty much it. I love you guys. Take care. Peace.